As a parent, if your kiddo is struggling with motor tics or Tourette's, it can be one of the most heartbreaking and challenging things to see your kiddo going through. Because on the surface, sometimes it looks like it's involuntary, that they should be able to control it. But the more you see these things happening in your kiddo, the more you realize that it's actually something they can control over and your heart really goes out to them. So in this video, I want to address what is the underlying cause of motor tics and what you can do to not only better understand what's going on in your kiddo, but be able to give them some help as well. Some of the symptoms that we see are maybe it's facial twitches and ticks. Maybe it's a mouth or blinking in the eyes. It could be the shoulders. It could be movements of the head and the neck. Uh, while it's often maybe a quicker movement, sometimes it's this constant stretch and you see your kiddo always doing the same thing over and over. When you see that happening, when you start to go below the surface, you start to realize that there's got to be something more going on because you can see this repetition happening over and over and over again, no matter how many times you tell them not to do it. And I'm going to share a story of a 12-year-old boy we worked with here in a little bit. And the challenge that his parents were having is they started having other family members notice things as well. And you might also be confused because you maybe see them go up and down you think ah they're really severe then all of a sudden they start to get better and then they get worse again one of the things that we see in our office making them worse is simply added stress this might come from something obvious like a test at school or uh, maybe it's a, a, a argument with another kiddo uh, maybe it's a teacher there are also things like season changes Maybe their immune system's fighting something off. They're going through a growth spurt. Some of those things can also intensify what they're experiencing from a stress standpoint and make ticks worse. And they might be less obvious for you as a parent on the outside. Uh, accompanying ticks, maybe your kiddo is diagnosed with ADHD or they're very anxious. Maybe they're angry and have outbursts or they don't sleep as well. Again, these are signs that there's this underlying stress building up in the body. And the traditional approach, when you go to the traditional doctor, they might tell you, uh, don't worry about it, they'll outgrow it. And I want to share with you, because it's coming from underlying stress that's built up in the body, as, an important, as a parent, it is important to address that underlying piece rather than wait for them to outgrow it, because often it turns into something else later in life. And the other option they might give you is to take a medication, which can decrease the symptoms. But again, as a parent, you know it's not getting to the root cause. So I mentioned the 12-year-old boy that we worked with in our office, and he had more of a facial twitch and tics. And parents actually brought him into us, not because of the tick, but because of emotional regulation. They said he really struggled with anger, with anxiety, with holding stress, and suddenly, as that stress would be held, he'd have to release it with an upset or an outburst. If he was doing something like Legos at home or playing with his sibling, he would get frustrated easily, and all of a sudden, maybe he'd throw his Legos, and they said he would start grunting, he might even hyperventilate almost to the point of passing out. If he got really frustrated, he would hit his head against the wall or hit it himself, and it was because this tension kept building in his body and his brain was smart enough to try to release it. It just couldn't release it all the way. So it kept happening over and over again. And when they were, when we were doing our consult and exam in our office, I could see he had this movement pretty repetitively. I asked mom like, oh, by the way, does he move his face like that? She's like, yeah, he does it all the time. And our family, our relatives, our friends are saying, ah, you should maybe get that checked out because we notice it too. So fast forward a month, he had started care in our office. And let me show you scans here. I'll bring these up. Um, but one of the first changes parents notice is that his facial movements were way down. When they fill out their progress form a month later, they said he's rarely twitching or scrunching his face like he used to. The other cool change is that he became way less emotional and more regulated when it came to his behaviors and his anger and these outbursts. Um, the thing that 
I had noticed too as I was going through adjustments is when he first started there was so much tension in his body when he would lie on the table his neck muscles were just so tight and taut as we went through the adjustment process they became much more relaxed because his body was able to clear out this tension that had been built up so you can see on this top scan here this is one of the things that we use to look for that root cause and look for underlying tension that's built up in the body that your kiddo hasn't been able to release on his or her own. So what we're looking for are these white bars, green is mild, blue is moderate, and red severe, where something is stuck and this stress is stuck on in the body. So this was his first scan. And then a progress scan here a month later, when we did that check-in with mom and dad, you can see things have tremendously improved. And in only a month's time, they were able to see such big change because this stress that was built up in the body was allowed to be released and moved through. So if that resonates with you as a parent, if you've been looking for an answer for your kiddo and haven't been sure where to turn if you've been frustrated with what you've been told it's something that we love to help out with in our office because of our neurological technique we find that when we can release that stress naturally from inside the body it allows your kiddo's brain to feel more peace of mind to not have to try to release it with these ticks and these movements but when they're feeling content and peaceful internally, they don't have to release that stress externally. And of course, then it helps them feel less anxious, less nervous, and allows them, if they don't have that discomfort in their body, they can focus better in school. They can regulate their emotions better as well. So please reach out if that's something that resonates with you and your kiddo. We'd love to talk more and even see how the scans would look on your child to see if it's something that we can help with. I'll talk to you soon.